Hello, good morning, dear viewers. We thank God for yet another wonderful week and a new day that He has given unto us. Um, my name is Rita. I'm coming to you from Pearl Heaven Christian Center with a nugget for this week. First of all, I want to thank God for Pastor Patrick Angora who took us through last week. We thank God. And uh, it's from that point that uh, I'm building up from where he stopped. He talked about love and he basically focused on agape love, love for one another. Today we want to look at something in the same direction and we are going to talk about love for God, specifically love directed towards God. And we'll find that in uh, the book of Matthew chapter 22. From verse 37, it says, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. Yes, so to begin with, we want to look at this as a command. We are being commanded to love God. It's not a suggestion. He is uh, not seeking our opinion. We are being commanded to love God. First, we understand that because of our fallen nature, everything about us hates God. We just have a natural hatred for the ways of God, a natural uninborn hatred for anything that uh, focuses on God. But we thank God that by His grace, He makes a provision through His Son, Jesus Christ, in that when He commands us to love Him, it's not our own working, it's not our own effort. It is being directed by the help of the Holy Spirit of God. We understand that when God tells us to love him with all our heart, he knows that there's a possibility that there are other things that usually take our heart away from him. The passions of this world, the ambitions of this world, you know, the, 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 the things that seek to satisfy our natural man tend to drive us away from the ways of God. And for, it be, and for it to be looked at as a command, it means that we have every effort. We have to work towards it. That's why the Bible is saying that we have to love the Lord with all our heart, with everything in us. We want to understand that love implies an ardent inclination of the mind and tenderness of affection. And it denotes a strong emotional attachment for and a desire to be in the presence of an object. And in this case, we are talking about God. Loving God with all our hearts means that everything about us is focused on Him. It is a dedicated and committed choice that we make to be able to love God because of the many other things that are competing for our hearts. The book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 24 tells us that no one can serve two masters for either he will hate the one and love the other and he will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and wealth. So we see a very clear, you know, instruction there. And because God knows us very well, he made us. He knows our weakest points. He knows who we, who we are in our human nature. So he's warning us that you cannot serve two masters. That is why we see that God desires all of our hearts, everything about us, to be focused on him. He is a jealousy God. He made us for him. And it is important for us to know that God cannot be number one on the list of the many things that we love. He is and he should be the one and only person on our list. When we are lining up things that we, are, we have an affection for, things that draw our hearts, God is not simply number one. He is and he should be the only person on that list then we can be able to say that we are loving God with the whole of our hearts. God bless you so much. As we delve into this, let's look forward to tomorrow to see more about what this scripture is telling us. Thank you so much for viewing and listening in. 
God bless you and have a wonderful day.